Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. I'm here today with Dawn, of course, and Jasmine Chomsky. And Jasmine is a registered psychotherapist, and she's also an equine-assisted psychotherapist. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> and you also might see Callie, the dog, you know, come in and out of the interview from time to time. All right, so let's talk about equine-assisted psychotherapy and how that works. Yeah, so um, together with my horses, we assist people in understanding how their thoughts create an energy and then create and influence their experiences. And so the horses, why they're significant is horses are, are prey animals, which means they're hypersensitive to their environment. They can detect actually changes in our heart rate and blood pressure um, from several feet away. So because of that, they're so attuned to our energy. And they often act as mirrors to show us what is going on within us, energetically, within our thoughts, and then with those different feelings that we create. So because of this, working with the horses is so much more powerful than just sitting in an office talking to a therapist about what's going on. Because people get to see, when I do this, this happens. The horses are reflecting that and creating space for them to be able to try to do things differently. And how long have you been incorporating the horses into your therapy? A long time. I actually took my original training in 2004, and I've been doing it um, since then. I've been in practice since 2003. Um, it just, because I needed a farm and horses, it wasn't something that I could get right into couldn't bring horses into the office, <laughs> so there was a bit of a challenge with that. So I've been doing it for quite some time. I've been here in Erin for six years and on this farm for the past six years and doing that now the majority of my practice is horse assisted therapy. Yeah, and what a beautiful spot. I mean, this, this place is incredible and just, even though we haven't actually worked with the horses yet, yeah. I can already feel just, you know, it's such a great vibe here on the property. And you have a few baby goats. Yes. <laughs> and Callie the dog. Yes. So do you ever incorporate them into the therapy? Yeah. So the bigger picture is actually to do more animal therapy in general. Mm -hmm. So um, I, we uh, got the baby goats in um, uh, May of this year, and they're about six months old now. They're a completely different energy. <laughs> they are, um, they have been called the, the court jesters of the animal world because they're fun and playful and yet they're quite sensitive. And so the, I don't always use the, the goats, but the goats are usually out in the field. So the field behind us is where the horses are and that's where I do the majority of my work that each animal that's here on the property offers a different energy and assists in people. So why did you get into this? Because <laughs> I love horses. Okay. <laughs> so ever since I was a little girl, I, I've loved horses. I've, I've, sort of, I've had a special connection with them, I think. But always lived in um, the suburbs or the city. And really my experiences with horses were very brief. We went to horse camp once, you know, occasionally as a family we would go riding. But other than that, it wasn't actually until I was 23 that I decided to take riding lessons. And then I was just so in love. I just was there any spare time I had. I was just at the barn soaking up what the horses were teaching us. Um, and then at 26, I bought my first horse, which was Cowboy. He was three years old. So beautiful. Palomino. And here's uh, something interesting about that, too. When I was a little girl, I had Western Barbie. Western Barbie <laughs> had a horse, and it was a Palomino. Oh! Yes, and so I always <laughs> wanted a Palomino. And for those of you who don't know what a Palomino is, it's beautiful, like light brown, almost blonde body, and then blonde hair. Gorgeous. And so that is one of my, I would say one of my first most powerful manifestations <laughs> is yes. getting my Palomino horse. So <laughs> and then from there, it just kind of snowballed. It. And do you use the horses to help with your own? Oh, inner work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's actually how this all started is um, I was actually uh, going through my master's degree when I got cowboy and I was so fascinated. I'm like, what is it? 
horses attract girls all the time, young girls. So to the young boys out there, that's where they should be hanging out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, I could see like these kids come and something you know wasn't going right, but when they left the barn, they felt better. And so I was really curious about that. So I actually did my master's uh, research thesis on the effectiveness of animal assisted therapy. Oh. Yes, so that's what, because oh. I knew how it made me feel. And then when I was going through uh, my divorce, my horse was there for me. And I just, there was something about the energy of horses that they're quite comforting to, to you. And they just know what's going on. And then as more and more horses came in my life, and my horse Sage, He's just such a nurturer. He's so kind, and whenever I'm upset, I'll go out there. And one time, I swear, I just walked out into the paddock and I'm crying. And he looks up. And he's like, "What? What's going on? What happened?" <laughs> and they'll just share space with me. It's incredible. Well, Don and I are going to experience a little equine therapy. No, Karen's been on a horse, and she's communicated with horses. Mm -hmm. I have no experience with horses. Mm -hmm. Do people like me come to you too? They do. <laughs> they do. You don't have to have any experience with horses because this is actually not about the horses, right? So, um, and people have different levels of comfort around being with horses, and that's entirely okay. We can start by standing outside the paddock and just communicating. We can start with I have two miniature horses. We can start with the miniature horses, but my horses also are specifically. I wouldn't, I won't say say chosen, they chose me. They, this is their job, they, this is their calling. So they know how to assist people even if they're uncomfortable. Yeah, and, and that's something I was just going to ask you about. Not all horses are designed to be therapy yeah. horses, right? You can't just go to any horse and expect to get yeah. this kind of experience. Yes. So maybe a little disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you, know? you can um, because, unfortunately, what happens with most domesticated animals is they are shut down. So they have learned if I do this, then I will be treated well. And I, you know, unfortunately, there's there's, there's the, the negative side sometimes. So they learn to um, just kind of exist in this certain box, and those are not great therapy horses. My horses have uh, the freedom to express the way that they feel. They have a say in everything that they do. And um, even like I was saying, all the horses are out there when we participate. We use a huge field of at least a minimum of an acre. So at any point, if someone chooses not to participate, then they're allowed to do that and encouraged. And that's one of my rules when people come to see me is if a horse walks away, you let it. And yeah. totally respect that they are willing participants. So not only are the horses, not all, not all of them are suitable, but people also, if you're going to go to someone who does this work, make sure that they are open to listening to the horses. The horses need to have a choice. It's my discipline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. I like my that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to um, experience a little bit of this. Now, how do we start? I think you said earlier about setting an intention for yes. the session. Yes. Yeah, so Typically when people come to me, they, they've already have an idea about the, that they want to work on something. And, and actually the majority of people right now are coming to me with anxiety. So we're working on anxiety in general. Um, but e each session I usually say, you know, what is it that you'd like to work on today? What is it that you'd like to focus on today? And that's kind of where we go. And to be honest, I go very intuitively. Like, so sometimes it's just like, let's go out and meet with each one of the horses and just kind of see how you're feeling and kind of what comes up for you. Um, and then we kind of go from there. And that's what I can tell you. Yeah, well, I think we'll see how You're going to see. Yeah, how it goes very shortly. Yes. All right. Okay, so what is the intention for your time here with the horses today? Um, well, I just came from a CAT scan, as you know, and I think what I'd like to understand from the horses is anything that I need to know in respect to healing. I don't expect <laughs> you know, them to do the healing, yes. but maybe to help me understand what more I need to do to heal. go up to the horse and just kind of get to know them. Okay. And you can go as close or as far away as you feel comfortable. You can touch them or not touch them. It's mm -hmm. entirely up to you. 
Right. Um, and just just kind of notice how you feel around each one, both emotionally and physical sensations within the body. Right. And then let's start from there. Okay. okay. This is Allie. And just a reminder for you to be open to the sea. <laughs> I, know. I got that a little bit, so I'm telling Allie, oh, you're so pretty, you're such a nice <laughs> I'm in this energy of receiving. And that's actually your first lesson. Yeah. It's to, to allow yourself to receive. That's a good one. I'm good. We'll come back to that one. <laughs> A little closer. So you choose the spot. Okay. And it is safe to do so. Okay. That's what I, that's what I was wondering. It is safe to do so and it's just not Um, something I'd like to talk about for our viewers is that I didn't film Karen's entire session and that's because Karen and I are actually on our own journeys mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and these are real therapies that we're going through yeah. and yeah. we have to respect sometimes that um, having a camera or maybe even the EMFs present or just even the conscious awareness of filming could hamper our full experience. So yeah. when I was filming Karen, I got an intuitive hit that it was time to turn off the camera and give Karen space to work with the therapist and the horses to really be able to get dig deep and, and not have to worry about, you know, EMFs or, or any type of subconscious awareness that there's a video present mm -hmm. so I just wanted our viewers to understand that this is all very real we're, we're we're really doing the work ourselves as well as trying to explain to people some of the options and some of the treatments that we do go through so that they might be interested in trying them themselves and understanding what happens during the mm -hmm. sessions so Karen's full thing wasn't there but I would like to hear or maybe you can explain to you the the viewers mm -hmm. what happened after I shut off the camera yeah. Um, and how you found the experience. Yeah. Well, when you shut off the camera, we had just s sat down. Um, Jasmine asked me what I felt like doing. I felt like just sitting and sitting in the energy of the animals. Um, so we did that and it was really interesting. I mean, we would have had to kind of move really far back to see it but all the animals gathered around me in a circle and so the message there was um, that I am being supported and um, the other thing that we kept getting was you know I kept trying to connect with the animals because I'm an animal communicator and there wasn't a lot of that going on because the message was I'm there to receive from them, um, but not receiving communications, receiving, you know, the support and their energy. So um, that was really neat, especially when they all kind of gathered around, um, including the goats and Kelly the dog and everyone. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, I, I feel like I need to follow up and do some more sessions and um, kind of you know, let them support me more. Let them, you know, give and I'll just receive and, you know, see what continues to happen. So it was a really great message from them. And, you know, anyway, I'm definitely going back as, as much as I can. Mm -hmm. So if you um, like this video, make sure to like us. 
Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We keep reminding you and uh, because, you know, we don't want you to miss another episode. And um, also hit that notification bell. So I think that's it for today's episode. And we will see you soon.